Good morning, Beth Emanuel. Uh, we are preparing to get ready to enter into our Sabbath rest today. And we wanted to take time to just greet you this morning and let you know that you are always in our thoughts and prayers. It was so great to see many of you last night in our prayer meeting. What an awesome time to come together and pray and to believe God for breakthrough in our world, in this pandemic, and in everything else in our lives that we are asking God to move and intervene. And it was just an amazing thing how God used that prayer meeting last night those who were on the call know that at the end, Christina Strazulo shared with us that she had just finished teaching an online class and one of her students heard our prayer meeting. And this student was so touched, she began to weep and cry as she had walked away from God. And Christina was able to pray with her and to encourage her and she wants to connect to our congregation. That is such an amazing thing. And it just tells us how God will use everything for his glory and to touch the lives of people. So please keep this woman in your prayers. We want to thank all the parents who joined us at the end with your child. And we just want you to know that we love your children and we would like to try to connect with them in the next week or so online. Uh, and so if you could just be available and join us. I'll be sending out another activity this morning uh, for you to do with your child. And uh, we just want them to know that they are not forgotten uh, because they are not here at the congregation. When I woke up this morning, there was a scripture verse that had come into my uh, email box from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. And God really encouraged me with that verse and the, uh, the uh, verses that followed it. And I just wanted to share this passage with you this morning <clears throat> as it talks about the love of God and how great God's love is for you. And again, we know how overwhelming it could be listening to everything that you hear in the news media and uh, from one uh, quote expert to the next. It could be very confusing and even alarming. But when we keep our focus on Adonai, as we have said throughout this week, uh, everything changes. He gives us peace, and most importantly, he lavishes his love on us. So I wanted to read this passage to you from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16 through 19, and pray that it encourages your heart today, that you would understand how great God's love is, and that his love would strengthen you. So Rav Shaul says, and I pray that he, Adonai, would unveil within you the unlimited riches of his glory and favor until supernatural strength floods your innermost being with his divine might and explosive power. Then by constantly using your faith, the life of Messiah will be released deep with inside you and the resting place of his love will become the very source and root of your life. Then you will be empowered to discover what every Holy One experiences, the great magnitude of the astonishing love of the Messiah in all its dimensions. How deeply intimate and far-reaching is His love. How enduring and inclusive it is. Endless love beyond measurement that transcends our understanding. This extravagant love pours into you until you are filled to overflowing with the fullness of God. That is our prayer for you today, that you would be filled with the overflowing love of Adonai. You would understand how extravagant that love is and that it would root you and strengthen you as you walk through this day and know that his presence is with you. We hope to see everyone tomorrow via our streaming on YouTube. Rena and Evan will be on there to help you if you have any problems connecting. And we are going to worship the Lord and be encouraged from his word. Please share that YouTube link with other people and invite them to come join us for worship tomorrow. We had a lot of people watching last week, some that weren't even a part of our congregation, and that's awesome. So use this as an opportunity to invite other people who may not come to the building, but they could watch from their home and participate in our service. So have an awesome day. Uh, enjoy your Shabbat evening with your family and focus and rest in the love of God. We will see you tomorrow in our service. God bless. Bye-bye.